Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitches available for the 2013 Buick Encore. We'll start with the Draw Tight Class 2. This offers an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. Its part number is 36554. We're going to follow that up with the Kurt. This is a Class 1 rating. This is also an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. Part number there is C11358. Now at first glance, our hitches look very, very similar to one another. They follow the same design. It's kind of a rounded tube that's gonna come across the rear of the vehicle. They're both gonna be pretty visible from the backside. The hitches kind of tuck in underneath the vehicle nicely, but you're gonna see most of this tube as it comes across. And that meets in the middle at our inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube openings. The draw tight has a band style reinforcement collar that goes around it here. You can see it's been welded on. And the Kurt, it has one that's a little bit cleaner looking in my opinion. It's a little bit more of a flush look. Again, that's going to make a very, very minor aesthetic difference, but something you might want to consider. Our safety chain connection points are going to be almost identical on both the hitches there. Not really a big difference there. Draw tight is a little bit bigger and a little bit more open, but you really shouldn't have any issues connecting whatever type of safety change you might be using. As far as the pinholes go, both of these are going to be a half inch diameter pinhole. For the draw tight, we want to be sure that we use class 2 rated accessories. And we should have plenty of room on each side there for regular hitch pins and clips anti-rattle devices or maybe even locking hitch pins, whatever you want to use. And the same is going to go for the Kurt here. Now with this one you want to use at least a class 1 rated accessory, class 2 pins, locks and anti-rattle devices will work with this hitch as well. Now when it comes to installation processes on both of the hitches, they are pretty straightforward. There's not going to be any major drilling or any modifications to the rear fascia or anything like that that you're going to have to do. Although the draw tight does use two less bolts, it's a little bit easier to install. The Kurt, it's not that much more difficult, just has a few extra bolts that we need to put in place. Now that's kind of a weird situation because the draw tight actually has higher weight ratings. Though what that would mean is they've just kind of built this one to be a little bit more sturdy than what the Kurt is, which we knew that this is a class two hitch and this is a class one hitch. Now the weight ratings as far as both the hitches are concerned, the tongue weight rating, which is the maximum downward force that we can put here in our receiver tube opening, is going to be 300 pounds on the draw tight hitch. It's going to be 250 pounds on the Kurt hitch. Now the gross trailer weight ratings on each hitch, which that would be the total weight of your trailer and anything that you were going to load up on it. The draw tight, it offers a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating, where the Kurt is a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. So in my opinion, the draw tight is the better hitch of these two, simply because it does have the higher weight rating. We're not going to be limited on our bike racks. It's class two bike racks. This is going to accept even up to the four bike class two rack. Whereas with the Kurt hitch, we would want to limit ourselves to just a two bike rack or a smaller cargo carrier. Whereas the draw tight, you'll be able to use some of those larger cargo carriers and get up closer to that 300 pound tongue weight rating that the, uh, the hitch is gonna offer. And of course, when it comes to trailering, the draw type's just gonna be more sturdy. We'll be able to handle a bigger trailer. Of course, we do need to check the owner's manual on the Encore. We need to see what it's rated for, then we'll go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now, this is what our draw type's gonna look like installed. Our Kurt's gonna be almost identical to the bar here at the end does kind of turn up just a little bit, but be a very, very minor difference. I don't think you're going to notice anything. So as far as aesthetics go, both of them are going to be right at the same. As far as ground clearance and then measuring from the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, both hitches there, they're going to be right at the same. So there's not going to be one or the other taking an advantage there. When it comes to your recreational towing, if you are going to go with the Kurt hitch, they do recommend the use of a stabilization strap anytime you're going to haul a non-wheeled load. So if you're doing bike racks, cargo carriers, something other than a trailer, they recommend using the stabilization strap. Uh, with the draw tight, it's going to be much sturdier of a hitch, so we're going to have higher capacities and we don't have to worry about that strap. So I think the draw tight is going to take it in the recreational segment. Uh, for the towing segment, trailer towing, the draw tight certainly has an advantage there. It's got a much higher weight rating with it. 
And as far as ease of installation goes, while they are pretty similar, the Kurt does have extra hardware, so the draw tight would be the easier of the two hitches to install. That's going to complete our look at the best hitches available for the Buick Encore. We hope it'll make your decision making process a little bit easier. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.